Here at Four Wheels on the Road, we're dedicated to help you get the most out of your time away. And this trip away, we're headed two and a half hours north of Brisbane, just outside of Gympie, to Glastonbury Creek camping area. on Point Fuel Road now just coming up to Glastonbury Creek. The last couple of kilometres of the drive is a gravel fire trail but the site has access for all vehicles so two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles. Buses also are able to get into site so if you've got a caravan or camping trailer it's very easy to get on the site. If you're somebody who's from the north coast or Gympie kind of area it's um, it's a nice place for you to come to because it's pretty close to you to get here to the camping area. If you're looking for somewhere that's nice and quiet but also easy to get to, this is a place I'd definitely recommend. The camping area here itself is actually really well laid out. It's just a big grass area. It's all really well mown and really well kept and the fence bordering it is just near the creek. It's not really the best access to the creek but it's Still pretty nice. So what we're going to do this morning is just get uh, settled in and then go for a bit of a walk. So we're just spending our first night here just chilling out by the creek just going for a bit of a walk on the hike now the walk here is really well mapped out and it's a really good path so if you had a mountain bike as well you'd be able to go for a ride here very easily there's kind of like a fire trail that joins onto the path as you'll see here and the trees here and the forest is actually really nice so it's a beautiful area just the creek itself is not that amazing but we've never been here before and we just thought we'd give it a try have a look at it spend a couple of days up here so i think we're just gonna spend the day just hanging around camp here and that's about it and then we'll go up to the lookout tomorrow and then head home after that well good morning we're just going for a drive along the walking trail coming off site here before we head off to point pure lookout
As I mentioned, there's actually a couple of ways that you can get in here. There's the four-wheel drive path back from the creek campsite where we were just now. And there's also another way in off Wide Bay Road. Most of the two-wheel drive access people will be coming in through there. The road that we took I wouldn't recommend for anybody else other than four-wheel drives. Don't forget if you're getting some value from this video and my channel to like, comment, subscribe and share if you haven't already. Alright, well, simply stunning views here, gotta say. Really nice place to have a relax and uh, you can just sit here and admire the view which is amazing. It's a little bit scary being close to the edge here, but probably 10 to 20 metres, possibly cliff face below me here. Little abseilers and climbers go down. Gorgeous view here, definitely worth the drive up here. It's definitely a must-see activity when you come up here. I really do like this place. Definitely going to have to come back here again. It's really lovely. Awesome views. Awesome views. Alright then, let's get going back to camp, hey? So there are actually two lookouts up here, both are used by abseilers, climbers, but they're nice just to come and have a look and uh, just sit and enjoy the view. There's Eagle Nest Lookout as well, which is the second one that we've gone to. It's about 20 metres down the road from uh, the first one. It's a nice drive through the forest here. It's two wheel drive accessible coming in the main way and as I said there's a few different places to stop there's another place just here as we're coming down past the second lookout where there's walking trails as well so there's heaps to do up here it's actually really good Jesus that's a big goanna that was a f***ing huge goanna <laughs> we're gonna head back to camp now just chill out for a while don't want to be expending too much energy on your weekends away. <laughs> Mind you, we haven't really done much, just gone for a bit of a four-wheel drive and a bit of a walk. So it was actually quite fun to have a squirt through all the fire trails around here. I think I might actually come to this place again, it's quite good. It's just secluded enough where there's not a huge amount of people there, but um, The amenities are not amazing. There is toilets there, but there's no showers. And there's some walks available around, but I think the main draw card would be that uh, you've got all these fire trails that you could mountain bike on or four wheel drive up, which actually makes for quite a bit of fun. All right, well, that's going to wrap things up for our weekend up here at Glastonbury Creek. I hope you've enjoyed the time away as much as I have. Don't forget if you're getting some value from this video and my channel to drop a like with the button below and subscribe if you haven't already and enable notifications so I can keep you up to date with any new content as it comes out. We'll see you next time we get four wheels on the road.